everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome to another episode of Solving Your Stress mini series. I am your host, Sam, and we have a fuzzy guest host today, Frodo, who, um, well, he's sleeping. <laughs> so I'm going to dive right into uh, the topic today. And it, it's about comparison. Because when it comes to stress, when it comes to things like post-traumatic stress, being able to feel like you're going in the right direction, that you're finding the treatment that's working for you, that you're feeling that you have less stress in your life, it's a journey. And it's your personal journey. And so, yeah. Dogs are supposed to embarrass you while you're doing Facebook Live. <laughs> hey, <laughs> anyway, um, it really is your journey. And to compare your journey to somebody else's means you're creating more stress uh, in your life instead of less stress. Yeah. And so the problem really is about not taking the time to really understand what you need for yourself. You, we often see, oh, somebody on a great journey and we just like want to know what they're doing and we want to jump on that bandwagon without understanding what we really need for ourselves. And it's that awareness piece that is so key because let's face it, we go through life almost being yanked around like we have a dog collar around our neck from one situation to the next. And we don't always approach it uh, with our best selves because we're so stressed out. We leave things uh, uncompleted before we move on to the next thing. And it is ultimately the source of stress. Now, um, I am totally comfortable with knowing that this is probably gonna make some sort of blooper reel because of uh, Frodo here in the, the background, my, my co-host being completely uninterested in really what is going on here and, uh, and helping out. Are you gonna help? No. So that, that is the problem, the problem of comparison. How do we solve that? By becoming aware of what we need, of our needs, not necessarily jumping on the bandwagon uh, with other people, really taking time to self-assess, take a step back, that detach part that I talk about with detach, prioritize, and execute. And then we move forward. We do take the next step to see an evaluation. Hey, is this tactic going to help solve my stress? Is that tactic, whether it's reading, whether it's journaling, whether it's doing some active breathing, there are so many techniques that you can do to help in combat your stress. Just taking the time and being aware in your journey of what works for you. Because it's not a race to get to the end. It's not a race to say, hey, I'm cured, you know? No. And, and a lot of people uh, approach it that way. It's like, oh, if I just do these three things, everything will be fine. Well, just like life being a journey, your journey to being less stressed is, is also a journey. And most of the time, not to be a downer, it's not doing three things that just gets all your stress because there's so many things, uh, our jobs, uh, whether you know we have kids or our spouses, our pets on any given day, things that can uh, add to your stress that not, not one thing can address. So really, Take a step back and evaluate it and see if it works for yourself. And it's okay to say this doesn't work because that means you get to explore some more. And that's the most fun part of it is exploring and asking a lot of questions. And that's really it. Speaking of asking questions, you can submit your questions about stress to me anytime you want, whether it's part of these uh, Facebook lives or you can get me through abadgeofhonor.com. 
uh, you can contact me through that website. And speaking of stress and it being a journey, there's a lot of tools, tactics, strategies that are available out there. And if you're in the first responder community, visit abadgeofhonor.com. That's the letter A, badgeofhonor.com. It's got a great upcoming workshop, Friday, April 23rd. All of the details are on the website. Me and my law enforcement uh, partners, uh, one retired, one active, and we also have a practitioner that is gonna lay out how you can walk out of that workshop having your stress, whether it's just stress from the job or maybe you have um, post-traumatic stress, you're, you're good to go. You have tactics, tool, tools, and resources that you can rely on. And if you just want to check out some more things about stress in general, uh, visit my website, samanthahorwitz.com. Click on my blog. The Two times a month, I put out articles all about stress, about post-traumatic stress, you can have them delivered right to your email uh, and twice a month. And if you want to connect with me on social, while well, you're here watching me on Facebook, thank you so much. Hey, jump on over to uh, my YouTube page, which is at Samantha Horwitz. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn at that same, uh, at Samantha Horwitz. And on Twitter, I'm the same as here on Facebook, which is at the Sam Horwitz. So I hope that was super helpful. Remember, just like life is a journey, solving your stress is a journey as well. Don't be so quick uh, to get to that finish line. And it's all about awareness. So until next time, guys, this is Sam and Frodo out.